Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by Line Star. I'm Shannon Somerville with your top three NFL player prop bets for this AFC divisional showdown between the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. Here on the Line Star YouTube channel, we'll be breaking down all the divisional matchups and giving you the top three player prop bets. Plus, we'll have an anytime touchdown call as well and give you our take on the side for those of you guys who are betting against the spread in this one. Of course, you can do us a huge favor right now. Give us a like on this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment below because a comment also enters you into our prop bets contest, whereby if we go three for three on our props, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. So got to be in it to win it. Comment below. Also, let me know where you're headed with the picks. If What do you think of my picks? We're all in it together trying to beat the books. So speaking of books, our picks are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps, download them. And use the promo code LINESTAR because you'll get up to $100 of your first deposit match. So I want to make sure you can take advantage of that deal. Links to that are below. And again, the promo code for that is LINESTAR. Before I get into our picks, the tool that I'm using to help me find the best value in the prop market is called the Props AI tool. You can find that on the LineStar app, linestarapp.com. What it does, it basically compares LineStar's projections to what's out there in all the prop markets, all the different sports books, and it'll find the best value, give you the best edge. It's also a really great tool for research if you're looking at how a player's done the last five games, last 10 games, or over the course of the season, any different betting trends. And also you can just dive into the matchup itself. It's a really great tool. Also for DFS players as well, it's, a, it's an awesome tool. It has a lineup optimizer, everything you need. So check it out, linestarapp.com. All right, let's get into this matchup. Baltimore Ravens coming into this one. Lamar Jackson, the MVP front runner this season. That's been an awesome story. But the other great story has been the Houston Texans led by rookie C.J. Stroud, who's just had a remarkable season. And last week took down the Cleveland Browns, bringing in a top-ranked defense. But C.J. Stroud, the rookie, picked them apart this season. Led the Texans to a division title, but also broke some records along the way. He finished the regular season with the third most passing yards all time for a rookie. Now, though, he has to go up against that Ravens defense that led the league in sacks. And when you look at the Texans, they've given up the most sacks of any team in the playoffs. So we're looking at a good matchup in this one. Let's get into our props. We're going to start things off with Baltimore Ravens wide receiver and Lamar Jackson's favorite target, Zay Flowers, over 50 and a half receiving yards. Flowers is averaging 53.6 receiving yards per game this season, and he's gone over that 50 and a half mark in nine of 16 games, including when they faced the Houston Texans way back in week one. He quickly emerged to become Lamar Jackson's favorite target since then. Now facing them again, the Houston Texans ranked 28th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing teams wide receiver one, an area they've struggled and when you look at the Texans' defense, they play a lot of zone. In fact, one of the highest rates in the NFL, and that's where Flowers does his best work. In fact, he averages 13 and a half yards per reception against zone defense. And then when you look at some of the zone-based secondaries that he has faced, he's torched them. The Rams, he had 60 receiving yards against them. And the 49ers, he had over 70 receiving yards against them. Now going up against this Texans defense, he's in a pretty good spot here. He also averages about three more yards per reception at home than on the road in this one. And he'll be fully healthy in this one. He's had a couple of weeks to just rest his calf. He had been dealing with a little calf strain at the end of the season, but now he's fully healthy. Good to go. We love Zay Flowers, over 50 and a half receiving yards. To another receiving yards line for a Baltimore Ravens pass catcher, Odell Beckham Jr., over 33 and a half receiving yards. OBJ averaging 40 receiving yards per game over the course of the season. He had 37 receiving yards against Houston way back in week one. He's got great chemistry with Lamar. And at the end of the day, you got to think this is why they brought OBJ to Baltimore for moments like this. And this is why he wanted to come to Baltimore was for moments like this where he could have some pretty big catches in the playoffs. I think they're going to incorporate him heavily into the game plan. 
Now, as far as the receiving yards props versus a receptions prop, I kind of like the receiving yards better because we know OBJ can absolutely pop off in yards after the catch. And when we're looking at the Baltimore Ravens in general, Mark Andrews might be back. So that could take away from some receptions in this one. So I'm way more comfortable going the over on receiving yards in this one. So we're going to stick with that. We're going OBJ over 33 and a half receiving yards. To the Texans side of things, the first place that I looked for a prop was Nico Collins over on his receiving yards. And while I did like that, the one that really jumped out to me was Devin Singletary and his rushing yards prop. That's at 58 and a half. I think that's just too low for a player of Singletary's caliber. Since the start of November, only Christian McCaffrey has more rushing yards than Devin Singletary. Line star projection, the consensus projection, significant edge there. He's gone over that 58 and a half rushing yards line five of the last six games. He's averaging 73 rush yards per game in that span, that last six games. Now he's a smaller back, but he's not afraid to run it up the gut. He's got a fearless running style. And so even though he's going up against a really good Baltimore Ravens defense, they do give up 90.7 rush yards per game to running backs, which ranks 19th in the NFL. So I think that line at 58 and a half is just too low for Devin Singletary. And we got to take advantage and take the over. So those are my top three picks for this game. Let me know what you think of these picks. Are you tailing? Are you fading? No offense will be taken, I swear. But if you'd like to tail me on Underdog Fantasy, go ahead and do so. Use the promo code LINESTAR again when you download Underdog Fantasy for $100 of your deposit match. Or if you're interested in any of the other apps as well, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Prize Picks, the links are below. And that promo code LINESTAR, you can use it for all of them and get $100 of your deposit match on all of those sites. So it's a really great deal. Also, remember to comment below. Let me know if you love or hate the picks. And if you've got some locks of your own, drop those as well. We're all trying to help each other out and beat the books. So good luck to you on those. Now, I do know I didn't say this at the top of the show, which I should have. We are dealing with some cold weather temperatures in this one. The high is 25. The low is 15 degrees in this one so yes I understand we are dealing with cold temperatures which sometimes isn't the greatest for passing props in this one but I do think there can kind of be too much emphasis placed on the weather and the impact in this one I still like the over in all these cases I do understand how cold weather impacts this thing so what happens with cold weather denser air harder for the ball to travel through but I still like all of these plays here for today And I'm not placing too much emphasis on cold weather in this one, but I still, I'm good to go with these props. We're sending it, submitting that pick. And again, a comment enters you into our prop bets contest. If we go three for three, we're giving out the winnings of our ticket on the next show. So make sure to comment, be in it to win it. Now it's time for a touchdown calls of the game for my anytime touchdown. I'm going with Baltimore Ravens running back Gus Edwards plus 130 for a touchdown. He's got 13 on the year. In fact, he's had three in the last four weeks of the regular season and 22 red zone tries over the last eight weeks of the season. That's the sixth most of anyone in the playoffs. Also going up against Houston, their defense is meh 13th in opponent red zone scoring. Uh, Good rush defense, but hey, Who delivered the only two touchdowns for the Browns last week against the Texans? That's right. It was their running back, Kareem Hunt. So sign me up for the Gus bus. We're going there. All right. As far as sides in this one, when I look at this game, I know the Texans are such a great story, but I think the clock strikes midnight on this Cinderella story for CJ Show. They've had an awesome season. I took the Browns last week. I thought the Browns would win this one. In this one, I think the Baltimore Ravens have it. I think the difference between the Ravens and the Browns is that the Ravens just have more players that can rush the passer in this one. I mean, they've got dudes all over the place that are coming after C.J. Stroud, putting a ton of pressure on him. The Baltimore Ravens defense is legit in this one. And when you look at the offense for the Baltimore Ravens, it's Lamar Jackson. This is the MVP candidate likely going to win MVP this season so I got a side with Lamar Jackson in this one eight and a half points it's a lot of points but this one's in Baltimore I like the odds here for the Baltimore Ravens in this one also when you look at the way the Texans play defense I talked about it in some of the props they're very zone heavy and that's something that Lamar Jackson's kind of picked apart this season so I just think The Texans aren't going to have the answers at this point against Lamar Jackson. They're also a little bit banged up in this one. And I don't think this is their year, but it is exciting to see the Houston Texans and where they go from here and how they build on this team. Because it's been an awesome season for not only C.J. Stroud, but their head coach, D'Amico Ryans. He's just done a phenomenal job with this team. But I think the road ends here for the Texans. 
I like the Ravens in this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, a comment enters you into our prop bets contest. Got to be in it to win it. Good luck in all of your betting endeavors. And of course, enjoy the game. We'll see you guys next time.